Hello, welcome to Knowledge Maps. And this map title is Electronic Commerce, a Managerial and Social Networks Perspective. This map is made from e-commerce 2012 Global Edition, which is written by David King and Friends and published by Pearson. That book becomes the main resource of this map. But look at the border of this map. The border of this map contains a lot of external links. So this map is created not just by one book but also another resource such as video, articles, ebooks and many more to make it research with knowledge and information. This map is made by three people, me, my name is Aulia and two of my friends, Imam and Melvin. This map has seven blocks and five main topics. Let's see. So, our five main topics are introduction to electronic commerce, electronic commerce application, electronic commerce support service, emerging platform of electronic commerce, and the last one is electronic commerce strategy. And now I will explain about purple blocks. You see strategy with its contain of four chapter, chapter 12, chapter 13, chapter 14, and the last chapter, chapter 15. But I will divide this block into two parts. For the first part, I will explain about chapter 12 and 13, and the second part, I will explain about chapter 14 and chapter 15. Now, let's go to chapter 12, and I will explain about chapter 13 later. Chapter 12 is about strategy, globalization, as M is of electronic commerce. It contains five sub chapter. The first sub chapter is easy strategy formulation, and then organizational strategy, e-commerce strategy, implementation strategy, and strategy assessment. Now, what is electronic commerce strategy formulation? The strategy formulation of electronic commerce are selecting opportunities. And then you have to determine an appropriate electronic commerce. And then you have to consider about electronic commerce risks. And you have to think about security issues of electronic commerce. And Organizational strategy. Strategy in web environment are potters, competition, forces, model, and strategy, and the impact of internet. And the last one is strategic planning of IT and EZ. And here we go to electronic commerce strategy. This is the role of the internet in strategy of electronic commerce. You can see here that internet has a lot of impacts in business strategy, in IS strategy, in ICT strategy, and in easy strategy. And all of those strategy connect each other. So you have to think about business strategy and IS strategy and ICT strategy and easy strategy. You have think about that whole package of the strategy. You cannot just think about business strategy but you ignore about ICT strategy. You cannot do that. So you have to think about the whole package of the strategy about the impact of the internet in your e-commerce business. So that's the role of internet in the strategy of electronic commerce. And then the landscape of electronic commerce 
Oops, sorry, that's chapter 13. And now we go to implementation strategy. You have to finding a champion and starting a pilot project. And you have to locate resource and managing the project, of course. And for strategy assessment, first of all, you need the objective of assessment. And the second, you need to measure result and using metrics like KPI, CPM, BPM, web analytic, and web metric. And now, here we go to chapter 13. Chapter 13 is about implementing electronic commerce system. But before we go to chapter 13, Let's check our arsenal links about e-commerce strategy. This external resource from Forbes.com. You know that Forbes is a financial magazine, the popular financial magazine in the world. So this is the article from Forbes. It published on January 2014. It is the 12 e-commerce strategies to grow your business this year. It's written by Michael Evans and Jennifer Knight. Here are 12 e-commerce strategies you should plan to implement in 2014. First of all, you have to think about micro-target on online audience. Second, personalize, create content to build stickiness, tailor the browsing experience to target segments, integrate across channels, invest in mobile, tap into logistics, Consider subscription commerce, bypass the middleman, offer a seamless experience across channels, and it has to more. You can read it by yourself in the next page of this website. Now, now, I will explain about Chapter 13, Implementing Easy Systems. This chapter has six subchapter, landscape of easy systems, traditional methods, advanced methods, five steps approach, developing strategy, and organizational impact of easy systems. Now let's check the landscape of easy system. This is the elements in easy implementation, justification and economics, like cost benefits, metrics, net analysis, and hype cycle, system acquisition of development, and existing infrastructure tools, methods, integration, outsourcing vendor management and organizational re readiness like feasibility, culture, deployment, change management, business process management and organizational impacts, structure, performance, risk management and all, all of those elements of EC it became deployment and adoption and it can improve the, per the performance of your electronic commerce. So you need those elements to improve your easy performance. And traditional methods of implementing easy system. Traditional methods for evaluating easy investment. And advanced methods, advanced methods for evaluating IT and easy investment. 
so you need two kind of method to evaluating to evaluate your EC investment and now five steps approach this is the system life cycle in e-commerce you have to plan identify and justify your e-commerce system and then you create EC architecture then select development option then you have to task install integrate deploy and operate and maintain and update your system so your e-commerce system can work properly Developing strategy of implementing EC systems. First, developing the site in house from stretch or width of the self components. And then, buy a package application designed for a particular type of EC site. Outsource system development and lease the application. Now let's check organizational impact. This is what you this is what your organization have to do. So you have to improve your product promotion. You have to improve your sales channel. You have to improve your direct savings and you have to improve time to market. You have to improve customer service and you have to improve your brand image. Besides improve your business value, you have to transform your business value. Value. You have to transform technological and organization learning. And then you have to transform consumer relation. And besides improve and transform, you need to redefine your product capabilities and your new business models. So that's the analysis of impact framework. Okay. That's it. My explanation about Purple Blocks Part 1 is ending here. I hope this explanation can help you to understand more about Chapter 12 and Chapter 13. Thank you for watching. See you in the next part of Purple Blocks. Bye-bye.